Uh, yep, the university's ethical investment policy is through. Um, I can't give you a copy here. You'll have to go to David Duncan for that, and he'll no doubt pass it on as soon as it's uh, been written up. But it's uh, it's through. It's done. Um, there was no real there's no real movement against it. Um, obviously, there's still the issue of the pension fund. I know these guys behind are still going to still going to campaign on that. The university officially has no say over what the pension fund invests in, but they are going to pass that on to all the trustees, and they're going to make sure that, um, that the views are clear. The wonderful thing about how the policy is written, and again, you'll, you'll see this when this comes out, is that it's not a policy for now. It's a policy for the next 20 years and 30 years and maybe even 100 years. It's designed in a way that makes sure the university isn't going to invest in ethical stuff, even when all of us are dead and buried. If that policy is still there, it's still going to do that, and I think it's... it's it's worked pretty well, that has. And do you think the fact that the protest led to something actually being done on this issue will lead more students to sort of take up political courses and try and convince the university to do what they want? Oh, I hope so. I really do hope so.